Formula E, where milliseconds define victory. The fastest accelerating electric race cars ever, pushing the limits on the tightest circuits in the world. One of the unique things about Formula E is we race on a variety of circuits. Some are street tracks in the harder city centers, and some are really iconic permanent race track facilities. It's not always possible to train, test, and tailor our car in the real world first. For Jaguar TCS Racing, that means finding performance before they ever hit the track. The answer, a digital twin, a virtual replica of the Jaguar I-Type 7. Every torque adjustment, every software update, tested, refined, and perfected in the digital world first. But a digital twin is only as good as its data. And all these things are done in the drive in the loop simulator before we even arrive at a race weekend. It allows us to try the track, prepare our strategies, test our energy strategy, set the car up the way we want to. Now, with the Gen 3 Evo era, teams can make changes to the vehicle software and chase down performance gains right up to the very last moment. TCS's embedded automotive data scientists have developed a mathematical model called the Virtual Vehicle Validation Model, known as V3M, which instructs the digital twin of the Jaguar I-Type 7 how to navigate a track based on various inputs. But this technology isn't just about racing. The process of using digital twin simulations in motorsport is also applied to road cars, shaping the future of everyday driving. Jaguar TCS Racing provides a real-world testbed for the future of automotive technology. The development of the Jaguar I-Type 7 answers exactly the same problem that we have for the future of our road-going vehicles. TCS and Jaguar TCS Racing. Together, we're pioneering adaptability, pushing boundaries in the virtual world to improve performance in the physical world.